Hey guys, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing amazing and fantastic and wonderful. I know I am in a different location and I'm super, super excited about it. So if you guys follow me on my Instagram and follow my Insta stories, this past weekend I decided that I needed to have an actual office, that I needed to just bite the bullet, get a desk, move things around in the guest room slash my office and I got it done. It took me like eight plus hours, almost nine hours to rearrange everything from the way it was to how it is now and I couldn't be any happier. I love it so much. So now I've got three filming locations. I've got in front of my books, which that will still be a filming location, I promise. I've got this one right here, which is my desk which I absolutely love, and then I have my reading nook, which you'll see it's been moved over to this corner of my office, and it's no longer in my living room, so hopefully there isn't too much of an echo anymore, um, unless I'm filming in front of my bookshelves, which are in the living room because I have vaulted ceilings in the living room. But, so, new filming location, super, super excited. But, that's not what you're here for. You are here for the September Cozy Mystery releases. And let me tell you, some of these are absolutely amazing. Okay, all of them are amazing or I wouldn't be talking about them, but like the covers and the freaking, uh, just the titles of them, the punny titles are just perfect and wonderful and I love it. So without further ado, let's get started. The very first one is called Buried in the Stacks and it's by Allison Brooke. This is the third book in the Haunted Library Mystery series. So I think that this, this series is absolutely adorable. The main character is the librarian, Carrie, and she has a ghost named Evelyn that um, haunts the library. She was the resident librarian before she was killed six years previous. The library is, um, it, this is in the middle of the winter and it has become a refuge for the homeless townspeople. Um, when a group uh, purchases a vacant house to establish a daytime haven for the homeless. Carrie offers the library as a meeting place for the committee and it's supposed to be like super awesome and new and exciting and everything like that, right? Well, it might not necessarily be that way. As the new Sunshine Delegate, Carrie heads to the hospital to visit her cantankerous colleague, Dorothy, who has fallen outside of the supermarket. And when she goes and meets Dorothy, she um, hears from Dorothy that she thinks that her husband is trying to kill her. Not only is her husband trying to kill her, but she believes that her husband actually killed her Aunt Evelyn, the resident ghost of the library. So Carrie is trying to figure out what happened when Dorothy is killed, run off the side of the road, and it seems like Dorothy was also blackmailing quite a few other people and she doesn't seem to have um, a lot of friends. So there's a lot of things stacked up against them, but Carrie and her her ghost Evelyn are going to figure out the whodunit. And I love that the, there's a cat. The cat's name is Smokey Joe. How amazing is that? And there's books flying everywhere and it just, it just looks amazing and adorable and I'm so so excited for it. I'm living for it, if you will. And that book comes out on September 10th. Book number two is Christmas Cocoa Murder. This has three short stories, sort of like the book that we read for the uh, 12 Days of Cosmas last year. And I love that it has like three short stories based on Christmas. Christmas is my favorite holiday, guys. Like I can't even explain to you how much I love that flippin' holiday. And it is, it's got short stories by Maddie Day, Alex Erickson, and Carlene O'Connor. It comes out on September 24th. And so uh, the three short stories are um, Christmas Cocoa Murder by uh, Charlene, or Carlene um, O'Connor, Christmas Cocoa and a Corpse by Maddie Day, and Death by Hot Cocoa by Alex Erickson. And I'm not going to read you the synopsis of all three of the short stories, but just know that it's going to be Christmas galore, and you need to go and buy it, like, ASAP. I'm kind of thinking that this might be the book that we read together as 12 Days of Cosmas. So check that out whenever it starts getting closer to the end of November, which is when we'll start announcing the 12 Days of Cosmas. So yeah, 12 Days of Cosmas. 
mark it on your calendar. You know what's up. Book number three is perfect. <laughs> Sorry, guys, it's just so cute. Okay, a perfect alibi. This is the absolute perfect cozy mystery. This is book number three by Leanne Dobbs and it releases on September 18th. Okay, so this one sounds right up the road for reading in like October. So if you want to read the first two books in the series so that you can get to this one in October, I highly recommend that. So it says fortune tellers and mediums have descended on Oyster Cove guest house, finally determined to solve the mystery of local seafarer Jedediah Biddeford's murder 300 years ago. I am all about murders be or like mysteries inside mysteries like they do in um, the Port Danby series by London Love It and I I just there's just something about like trying to figure out the murder of the book in general and then trying to figure out the murder of like something of 150 years ago or something like that so this already grabbed my attention just with that one sentence I don't know about you but I'm in love with it already um so a whole bunch of tele fortune tellers and mediums have come to Josie Waters, a bed and breakfast, but she seems to have a little bit more that she is um, trying to deal with other than trying to burn the breakfast on, you know, accident. Um, one of the mediums is found dead with an ominous note nearby, and it sort of points to the um, ghost, Jedediah, or the dead man, Jedediah, being the culprit of the murder. Now, Josie doesn't believe in ghosts, or anything like that, um, but she needs to make sure that she can save the reputation of her bed and breakfast by trying to figure out the actual who done it. Where the two cats come in is, um, it says, Josie is sure there's no such thing as ghosts, but guest house cats Nero and Marlo know better. So maybe this has like a little bit of more like magic or like supernatural feeling to it. That would be pretty cool. I, I really like that idea. Book number four is Two Bites Too Many. This is a Sarah Blair mystery series. This is book two in the series by Deborah H. Goldstein, and it comes out on September 24th. So this looks really, really good. Um, we've got Sarah Blair, who would rather be catching bad guys than slaving over a hot stove. She seems to be in a um, lull in her life right now. She's not quite sure what she wants to do with her life. She's very happy that she has been able to um, keep her law firm receptionist job. She moved into a carriage house with her sassy Siamese cat, Rara, after a really bad divorce. And so she's just trying to gain her, her footing and ground. Um, and she thinks that she's she, she's got that she's rescuing animals and different things like that as a social life thing um her twin sister emily seems to have you know a more handle on life things she is trying to um open up a gourmet restaurant she's a professional chef but of course, something has to happen where a body shows up. And it seems like the local bank, um, the local banker actually winds up dead. And um, that was after turning Emily down for her business proposal. And of course, the um, clues follow to the last person who was seen with blood on her at their hands. And that actually happens to be the Blair's girl's sharp tongue mother, Maybell. And so they have to sort of figure out a way to clear Maybell's name get um, Emily the money she needs for her business all while Sarah is trying to figure out her life and it looks really cute I mean do you see those two cute animals on the cover I'm all about the furry cozy companions and it's just gonna be amazing and fantastic I'm just so excited and book number five last but certainly not least because this looks amazing it is a keepsake cove mystery. This is a curio killing. This is book two and it's by Mary Ellen Hughes. Hughes. Um, and this comes out on September 8th. So pretty soon. And it looks, I just, I don't know. There's something about having the front of the shop as the cover with like little things in the windows or um, where you can sort of figure out like what the killer is going to be about. That just, it just gets me every time and I love it. So Kelly is looking forward to the Keepsake Cove Spring Festival. She's so, so excited um, until her ex-boyfriend is framed for murder. It seems like he is going to be performing with one of the hired country western bands. And Kelly's like, you know, 
I want him to be happy, do his thing, but I'm gonna keep my distance as much as possible, which is totally understandable for her until she finds that um, her boyfriend is considered the prime suspect when the band's manager, Bobby Linville, is found dead, killed with the music box Hank bought at Callie's shop. And so he is put in a detention center while, they're, while the uh, police are trying to figure out the whodunit. And Callie is the one that has to, she's sort of his lifeline. She has to figure out what happened because she knows that he has many faults, hence why she's no longer with him. But she believes that violence and murder just aren't him. So that looks super, super good. I love it. I love anything with like antiques and things like that. Like that just, I love it. Those kind of books. Um, let me know what book are you most excited that is coming out this month. Let me know down below. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, happy reading. Bye.